Hey guys, today is June 19th. Um, happy Father's Day to everybody and to all the fathers out there and any single parent too. Um, so right now I'm just kind of just walking back from Safeway. Just got myself some food. Um, so today I'm going to um, kind of do a video of like kind of like a half vlog and half um, mukbang. Uh, pretty much what mukbang is, it's like a Korean terminology for like a food show, like a food eating show. I'm pretty sure you guys have probably seen a couple videos on YouTube about mukbang. Um, it's something really popular in Korea where, you know, it's just kind of where, you know, like we eat together and kind of chat along, you know, throughout the day or throughout the video, kind of, you know, just talking about what's been going on and everything. And so I kind of wanted to do that with you guys. I know it's a little bit dark, I feel like, because of the sun. Um, so if you can't see me, then, um, I do apologize, um, but, yeah, it's super nice outside today, um, it's about 75 degrees in the Bay Area, um, and I know right now everyone is pretty much getting ready to watch the Warriors game starting at 5, and right now it's about, like, 4.20, so I know it's been super busy with everybody, um, but yeah, um, so let me just kind of get my stuff situated back at my place, and I will talk to you guys soon. Alright, bye. Hey guys, so I just got back into my apartment. Um, yeah, and so I just kind of want to show you kind of what I want to cook up for today. Um, so that way you kind of got a good understanding of kind of like the food and stuff, just in case if you wanted to make anything. Uh, I don't know if you could tell, but like, yeah, my face is really red still from all that peeling. I had to even sh end up shaving um, because of all that peeling that was happening. And so, yeah, I mean, it's, it's getting better, but now I look like I'm 12 years old, so I'm not feeling that. But, yeah, so let me kind of show you guys um, kind of what I have and what I'm going to be making. Um, so that way you guys kind of understand, um, kind of, you know, what I'm cooking today and I wanted to show you guys all that food right over here. Um, so yeah, so let me get started on that. Alright you guys, so here are my food that I'm going to be cooking tonight for dinner. Uh, I'm going to be trying to do this kind of Asian fusion taco kind of thing that I kind of had an idea. Um, so I definitely wanted to try it. So I got my tortillas, which is the flour. So I got that. And then I got my, um, the meat part of it. Um, so I'm going to do it with the ground turkey, but I'm going to actually mix in some gochujang sauce. Um, gochujang is pretty much, um, hot pepper paste in Korean. Um, I love my food really spicy, so I'm going to probably add some of this into here and cook it all up. I'm going to show you guys in a bit too, but yeah, I'm going to do that. Add some, um, peppers, um, and then I definitely saw this and I want to try this. I eat really random. Um, I usually kind of eat... Um, not kind of like a good kind of, what do you call it, like something all in the same family. I, I always end up eating something kind of completely something different. I don't know. I've always kind of been that way. Um, so I saw the spicy sriracha fries. I definitely want to try some of that. So I'm going to cook some of these up and then I'm going to meal prep for the week, um, with some teriyaki sauce. Um, so I'm going to, um, use that. Um, I also have the, um, the mince garlic from Dolly Tree, so I'm going to try to use this today too and see how I like it, and then with all my seasonings in the back. So, yeah, so I'm going to cook this up for you. I'm going to show you guys how I cook. Um, again, don't judge me, um, on my cooking. Um, you know, I really ever rarely cook. Um, so yeah, so I'll see you guys in a little bit.
Hi guys, okay, so let's just kind of get started with this. So I want to kind of give you guys, do we love this though? Do we, do we love this? I got this yesterday. But anyways, um, so pretty much what a mukbang is, is pretty much like a food show. Um, so it's kind of really popular in Korea, um, where it's kind of like, you know, making videos, but you're, you're kind of live. So people will interact while you're eating. Um, so like the main person that's doing it, you know, it's going to eat food and, um, you know, people could come into like the chat rooms and then, you know, they kind of chat back and forth while this person's eating or, you know, they'll be kind of cooking shows or kind of talk about just kind of random stuff too. Um, and I know a lot of people have been doing it on YouTube. So I kind of wanted to do one as well to kind of see what um, you guys think and maybe I could do more where I could kind of sit down and talk to you guys um, just kind of about what's been going on and give you kind of like the daily um, the daily dose of you know my life and everything for you guys so yeah so that's pretty much what it is um, I do apologize you're gonna somehow hear maybe people like yelling or you might hear this kind of weird kind of in the background um, Right now, I don't know if you guys know, but today is Father's Day, but it's also the NBA Finals for the Warriors and the Cavaliers. Today's the last game, so it is tied up. Um, and so, you know, I do live in the Bay Area, so, you know, everyone's pretty much, like, grilling outside for Father's Day and watching the game. Um, you know, it just started probably, like, 25 minutes ago, um, but there, you're still, like, hearing a lot of things. Um, and it's really hot too, um, so I kind of turned on the fan in the background because I wanted to have my um, screen door open, my patio door open, but you could literally hear them like yell every like five minutes. So I was like, you know what, I'm not doing that because I can he you know, hear myself. Um, so I just closed it, turned on the fan and stuff like that. So I do apologize in advance. Um, but yeah, so let's kind of get started with the food. I'm so excited. So like I said, today was kind of like an Asian fusion taco kind of thing going on. Um, and I just kind of wanted to try it. So let's I just kind of let's get, get this first one started. So I got my tortilla, my flour. I don't like corn. I actually like flour, but I don't know why. I, I, I guess it's just kind of the chewy part of it that I like. So I have my rice Get a little bit of rice in there I do eat a lot so be wary guys I, I actually do eat a, a lot of food I'm a I'm a big boy I'm still growing so I got my rice in there and then I got my meat my turkey um turkey seasoning meat with um gochujang um sauce on it with the chili peppers Okay, got that. Look at that. You see that? And then I'm gonna add in a little bit of sriracha because I cannot. Oh, you know what? I actually have guacamole. So I'm gonna do the guacamole thing too. Let's see how that is. Just a little bit. So that's kind of what it looks like, you guys, if you could see it. Delicious. So let me just put this together and then see how it tastes. Mmm. It's actually not that bad. Oh, it's actually really, really good. I really like it. Mm hmm. You really get the, um, the really like the spicy of the Korean, like the chili paste, the gochujang, um, along with like that, you know, guacamole and then the rice. So it's like really good, yeah. Super good.
and then I have my sriracha fries. I know, random. Like I said, I eat like random foods. Like I'll add in like, I'll be eating like Korean food and then I'll have like Doritos with it. it I'm just weird like that. Okay, it's not great, but yeah, not my favorite, but it would do. Okay, um, but anyway, so. I just wanted to catch up with you guys on a couple things, um, you know, kind of give you guys an update on my life and what's going on. So as you know from my vlogs, um, so I came back from Disneyland last week. So I went to Disneyland last week and I just came back. Um, you can tell I'm still like red. I'm like peeling like really bad. I'm still peeling like over here. Like you can still tell. Um, and it's to a point where I had to shave because my face was peeling really bad. Um, so yeah, so I mean, I came back, um, you know, I had a lot of fun. It was my first time there. Um, so, you know, I, I rarely ever take vacations. Um, if I do, um, you know, I'm, I'm originally from um, Chicago. So um, kind of a little bit of background of myself. So um, I was Born and pretty much raised in, in Illinois, Chicago. Um, you know, got my under degree, my undergrad degree from um, a university over there. And I decided to, you know, pursue um, my undergrad degree, which was PR and marketing. And, um, you know, I moved out to LA um, when I was like 22, thinking, you know, oh, this is going to be easy and, you know, um, you know, live that, like, glam life and all that stuff. And so I moved to L.A., you know, thinking I was on top of the world, um, thinking that, you know, I'll just make it and I'll be just living that life. And, um, you know, I got there, you know, I, I was blessed. Let me just tell you, I was really blessed. I actually met the right people. Um, I was able to work for, you know, CBS, I was able to work for Tara Bank Show, um, MTV, um, I did kind of all that kind of stuff, and, you know, you kind of, people that don't know behind the scenes stories of it, um, you know, they think it's, you know, like, pretty much nowadays, like, the Kardashians, like, you know, you get to have this glam life, and, you, you know, like, pretty much you get to go out anywhere and make all this money, and, I mean, you know, some of it is true, but, you know, you do see the ugly and dirty side of it, and, and I, you know, happen to see that dirty side, and, um, for me, you know, it was something that I didn't want to do anymore. You kind of, like, um, get sucked into that lifestyle, and I was kind of, I felt like I was losing myself, you know, this is probably like two years in, um, you know, I was pretty much partying every single day, um, you know, just networking, I mean, it was great because, you know, I knew producers, I knew directors, I just knew so many people, and it was great for my network, but at the same time, like, I just, I just felt like I wasn't who I was, and, you know, the, the guy that, you know, from a small town in Illinois kind of thing, and, um, you know, I, I noticed that I was, you know, kind of distancing myself away from my true friends back at home and stuff like that, and I was like, you know, I can't do this anymore, so I moved back home, um, decided to go to grad school, and I moved to San Francisco, um, so now I'm here. Um, it's been about seven years now since I've graduated with my master's and I just kind of been around this area for a while. Um, you know, I think ultimately I wanted to go back into the entertainment industry, but, um, you know, life, you know, my path took me somewhere else and, you know, I'm, I'm very happy where I'm at. Um, so yeah, so that's pretty much kind of, um, you know, the way that I got up here. 
Um, you know, I'm pretty much the homebody type. I really don't go out, I guess, because I, I did that throughout college. And, you know, I, I was in a fraternity and everything like that. So I kind of did my stuff and I did my, I guess, my time, I guess. Um, and so I'm just pretty much, you know, the homebody. I just stay home. Um, I like to relax. Um, I like to just kind of, you know, just, just chill and relax, I guess. Um, so... Now, I mean, I really didn't have the time to, you know, explore the city as much. Um, so this year is something that I wanted to do was, you know, put myself out there more, um, go to different places I've never, I've never been. And I've been doing that a lot. Like yesterday, um, I went to the San Mateo County Fair. Um, yeah, it was awesome. It was a great time. But of course, it was super hot. Didn't help me with my peeling and my tan, but... You know, I did I really enjoy it. That's where I got my emoji hat. Um, so that was pretty fun. Um, but yeah, I mean, just kind of exploring the city, kind of seeing what's out there. You know, also networking too. You know, I, I definitely want to be able to say I have like a strong network of people and, and a good set of friends too out here. So, so yeah, so that's what I've been doing. And that's kind of the goal for myself this year. So I don't know what you guys, um, you know, are planning on doing this year for yourself or any, like, um, New Year's resolution, but that was something that I set myself probably within, like, January, February of this year, um, and I really wanted to make sure, if anything else, it's that's one thing that I wanted to do was, you know, explore and, you know, be more open-minded and, and, um, you know, be, be trans you know, like transparent, you know, something that I definitely, definitely am working on this show of myself. This is really good, guys. Like, definitely, if you want to, I could kind of, you know, give you all, like, the information below. If you want to comment below on how to make this, it's, it's really, really good. I'm... I'm very surprised. I'm not a, I don't cook usually. I'm, I'm pretty lazy. Um, because I work so much that, um, I really rarely have time to eat or I like, cook, I guess, um, and eat. And so, yeah, like, I decided to cook this today with my day off. And, um, yeah, this is really, really good. But, yeah, um, Let me see what else has been going on. Um, oh, so recently, I mean, so recently I've been addicted to this new app called uh, Periscope. I don't know if you guys have seen it or anything, but I use that. But um, it's pretty much like YouTube, but it's live. So um, you know, you could pretty much talk to any of them, or it's like it's like a whole like this kind of you know different people that could go on. And um, lately, I've been interested in like psychics and tarot cards and all that stuff and um I went on and I, I found somebody that was doing like a live chat session and and I was able to get a reading like, like a quick reading and I think it's really cool um you know and I think another two thing is like um I don't know if anyone could relate but usually when I come back from vacation you know I think that people will go on vacation to kind of, you know, get refreshed, you know, like not stressed out, you know, and go to work, like you're just feeling like, all right, I'm back, I want to do everything. But for some reason, this vacation, I came back from, from Disneyland, like I was kind of, I guess like depressed. Um, I don't know why, but I just didn't feel like myself. And I wanted to know, like, I, I couldn't figure out 
like why um like why I was feeling this way like you know and like what you know the reason why this was going on um I mean at the same time I you know not trying to dip into like my personal life but you know I did have a lot of stuff going on with my family um you, you know like I had you know family member that was really sick um you know I didn't know if we just you know like little things that I had to make you know other arrangements to you know to go somewhere and all that stuff and so there was a lot that was going on um sorry I'm trying to total ADD here but like delicious um so yeah so um you know I I went to Disneyland like you know what like I just want to have fun just kind of forget about everything at home a little bit um just enjoy myself and just relax um, which I did. I, I had a great time. Um, you know, I, when I usually go on vacation, this could be another reason too, was, you know, when I go on vacation, um, I would always just go home to visit family, uh, back in Illinois. So that was kind of my quote unquote vacation. So I never really had vacation where, you know, I would go and just kind of just enjoy, you know, just like fun place and just, you know, not worry about anything or anyone. And, um, so this was like, like my first time in, in, in a while, like maybe like five years that I took a trip for myself. Um, so, you know, I met up with my sister, you know, she's never been, and I had one of my best friends go with me as well. And so, you know, we had, it was a three day trip, went there, had a lot of fun, came back, I just felt like this funk, like I just didn't know what this was, like I just felt like really this kind of like down, like I felt depressed, like I didn't know why, I didn't even want to go back to work. And so I was trying to figure it out and I couldn't and that was even more frustrating because I, I didn't know why I was in this funk. And so, um, y you know, so I decided for some reason to kind of maybe seek some like spiritual and get some readings done and yeah, like, they were saying how, like, I'm just in this kind of weird place right now, and, like, there's, I just have a lot of negative energy around me, that's why it's, it's pulling me down, you know, I'm more of a really positive person, but the people around me, I guess, I guess is just very negative right now, and it's so, like, it's affecting me. So, um, so I was like, okay, like, you know, what am I supposed to do, and, and all this stuff, and they're just like, oh, you just have to, like, just find your happy place, and I was like, well, wasn't that the reason why, like, I was trying to get some help, you know? So I really didn't get an answer, um, but I did find out some weird stuff, too, um, so I found out that, I guess, Everyone has, like, guardian angels, I guess you could say. And so, I have two of them. I have a guy and a girl. Um, so, the girl, her name is Irene. And the guy is Hugh. Um, so, apparently, like, these guardian angels, I've... I, like, I, I've never, I guess countered like interacted with them or or whatever but i guess they're really close to me and so she was saying how well especially for me um that whenever i feel like a cold chill not like oh like it's really cold in here but um like a spine chill um it means that they're there, and they're, it's like a sign for, like a sign for them to say, oh, I'm with you. And it's really weird that she said that, because I didn't tell her this, but, um, my apartment here, it's, um, I feel like it's really, like, dark and gloomy, I guess. Um, you know, like, the way that my apartment is positioned, like, I don't have a lot of sunlight, so I'm pretty much, like, the way that the complex works is like there's one here one here and then there's one here and one here so i'm on the second floor but i'm facing behind so if this is like the main road i'm facing this way so a lot of the sunlight is going this way but i'm blocked off because i'm behind the unit 
like behind the second of the the first unit. So I really don't have a lot of sunlight. Um, and so I always felt like it's, you know, pretty gloomy. Um, you know, not so much like happiness is going on, whatever. And so, um, you know, I've been told to like prior a long time ago is to, you know, like sage my house and all this stuff. Like I've always kind of believed in spirits and everything, but and for a while, I, I was kind of really into, like, mediums and psychics and all that stuff. I know, call me crazy. But, um, but I met this clairvoyant, like, I know I'm being totally random, but a few years ago. And she was saying how, you know, I have a lot of clutter in my apartment. Um, kind of a hoarder. But, um, she's like, yeah, you need to either declutter your place or you need to... In, you know, like, sage your apartment because a lot of spirits are lingering around because they do love clutter. And, um, I was like, okay, well, you know, cool, I guess, I, I, you know, I, I guess I'll do it. And so, um, but right before I was going to do it was, um, I, so the way that my apartment works is, so right now where I'm sitting, so on this side is the door. So let me just show you. So right here is the door out to my place, like outside in the hallway. And then from where I'm sitting here, this way is the patio. And then, so from there, um, and then right in front is kind of my hallway to my bedroom, my two bedrooms. So from here, you could directly see the patio. Um, and so for, I want to say this was like, maybe last year or like two years ago, um, I would wake up exactly at 3.05 every night, like just for no reason, like 3.05 and then 3.15 were like the two times that I always wake up every day, um, for no reason, you know? And, you know, I'm not the type of person that's really, like, scared about ghosts or anything or spirits. It's just kind of like, oh, whatever, you know, it is what it is. Um, and so, I forgot when this was, but I decided to wait, you know, I would wake up and, you know, kind of go to the bathroom and do your thing. And, um... So there was this one time where I woke up and, you know, the bathroom is literally like right across from my bedroom. So I just kind of go straight into the bathroom and I decided to kind of, again, like 305, 315, I, I decided to kind of look, but my eyes are really bad. So I'm negative five and negative six. So I'm technically legally blind, so I can't really see anything probably like a feet away from me and like I'm, it's literally blurry but so that night I happened to kind of go like this which and I faced the patio and I saw this like white figure like in the patio just going and she just like leaned over and looked at me and I didn't know how to react to it so then I looked at it and I was like what are you looking at? And then I went straight to the bathroom and then I came out and I looked again and then she was gone. And then, and then, you know, I slept and then I, you know, contacted the, the clairvoyant lady and I was like, Hey, like I saw something, like, what is that? And she was pretty much like, Oh, you know, it was just like a passing by spirit. And, you know, again, she's like, it, it lingers around. And so I was like, okay. And so, um, you know, I was telling her, like, for a while, like, you know, I would wake up that way. I will be getting, like, spine chills down my back, like, for no absolute reason. And I have no, like, circulation going anywhere. So, like, for me to just sit here and all of a sudden get, like, the spine chill, like, it, there's, there's no reason behind it. And so she was like, okay, well, you know, so you need to save your house. There's a lot of spirits going on, whatever. And then I did that. Um... And, you know, I, I started to not feel as heavy or dark anymore. Um, so I felt better. Um, but at the same time, like, I felt like 
like something else was going on. Um, and then, I don't know what this call what is, I, I want to say, I don't know what this is called in, I guess, in English, but in Korean it's called kawi. So it's like where you're sleeping and then like a spirit like presses down on you and they kind of look at you and you can't, like you're paralyzed. I, I think it's called paralyzation or something. But anyway, so that happened right after the cleansing and, and she was kind of saying how, oh, like, you know, um, again, like you, you need to just make sure that you fully sage your house or your apartment. And I was like, okay, because, you know, I had a lot of lingering stuff. And so I did that and then, you know, I got rid of a lot of stuff in my apartment. Like I got rid of a couch. I just kind of got rid of a lot of things. And so I felt better and I felt really light. And then, you know, now fast forward to today, or now, you know, I felt the same kind of energy going on in my apartment ever since I've been back with Disneyland. And so that's why I kind of was like, oh, you know, like, something happening again? Like, what's going on? And, um, you know, they, the, the girl that I did on Periscope said, was like, no, you know, you're pretty much okay. It's just more of a, you know, a mental thing that you just need to, like, meditate and just kind of find your happy place and center yourself. And she was just saying how, you know, the reason for the spine chill now is because your guardian angel wants to, you know, tell you that they're there, they want to protect you and all this stuff. And I was like, okay. Um, so... I mean, you know, long story short, um, you know, do I believe that? Yeah. You know, I mean, it's, it's, it doesn't harm me or, you know, or anything like that. So, um, but, you know, I'm still trying to figure out, like, why I'm kind of down. Um, you know, I just feel like I'm kind of going through the, you know, what am I doing with my life? Why am I, you know, I'm such and such age, like I feel like I should be doing something better, but I'm not, so, I mean, there's a lot of things that's kind of, you know, like I'm personally dealing with, um, you know, so, I just want to, you know, I just want to be happy, and, you know, and I think, you know, maybe, you know, kind of doing, you know, and I thought maybe, you know, kind of sharing my life with you guys, you know, so that way I can maybe, you know, connect with more people like myself, or maybe I can help somebody that might be going through the same funk as I am, you know, and just kind of helping each other out, you know, is kind of what I thought of, and so that's why I decided to do this kind of video to kind of put myself out there and say, hey, like, you know, call me crazy, or call me whatever, but, you know, I, I kind of want to, you know, make myself, you know, transparent for you guys to kind of be like, oh, I guess we scored. Um, <laughs> but, um, yeah, I mean, y you know, just to kind of keep it real and keep it raw. You know, I'm the type of personality where, you know, I'm, I'm very, I'm very passionate, but I do come off very aggressive. Um, but I do it in a way that, you know, I do it because I care. But, you know, people could take it the wrong way and, you know, I don't want them to take it the wrong way or anything like that. But, um, you know, it is, it is what it is, and that's something that I, you know, I want to, you know, want to work on myself with that, and, and be able to, you know, be a better person, and if I could help somebody, too, along the way with these videos, like, that would be awesome, too. Um, so, yeah, I mean, you know, that's pretty much what's been going on with me. Um, you know, career-wise, I'm, you know, I'm okay. Um, You know, I work for a great company. Um, I'm in a good place with them. Um, yeah. How, do you guys even know how many tacos I ate so far? Like, I don't even know how much I'm eating. Like, this is so good. Um, like, I can't stop eating. But yeah, I mean, you know, I just think that I need to be more positive about, you know, <clears throat> just certain things and, and just be more grateful. 
I know for Father's Day today, like, you know, I don't, I don't live with my parents. They're, they're back at home. So, you know, I called my dad and, you know, I said, Happy Father's Day. Um, you know, he just went through a bypass, um, triple bypass, actually. Um, and I really wanted to go visit him, but, you know, due to scheduling and everything, I couldn't. But, you know, I know that he's, he's better, um, he's healthy, you know. Um, so definitely I'm going to probably plan a trip pretty soon in like a month or two um, to go visit family back at home. You know, spend some time with them. Um, but yeah, I mean, other than that, that's pretty much it, you know. I wish, like, you know, I could be happier, but, you know, it, it takes some time with myself and it's something that I need to work on. And maybe that's the reason why, you know, I'm going through this right now is to is to be stronger when I get out of it. And, you know, don't let little things get to you and stuff like that. But. But. Yeah, I mean, what else is going, you know, like, if you guys want to talk about anything, you know, leave me questions, you know, and comment below. That way, the next time I do this, um, you know, give me some feedback on this video. If you kind of like this kind of stuff, maybe I could do this, like, once a week, um, where we could, like, you know, do, like, you know, let's, let's chat and eat together, and then let's get to know what's going on, and I'll answer some questions if you guys have any, um... You know, so that way, you know, we could all kind of get together like a family and, you know, just talk about what's on our minds and stuff like that. And I think that would be really cool. Um, but yeah, but. That's pretty much it. I mean, you know, that's what's been going on. Um, the Warriors game is on. God, I feel so random. This video looks so random. Um, but I'm never... This is kind of like my first kind of, you know, live eating video. And I'm not going to cut any of this, so... It's, it's completely random, right? But, I mean, it's different, but, you know, I enjoy it, you know. Um, but yeah, I am full, you guys. Like, look at this. I get to even finish, like, I'm definitely going to save this for lunch tomorrow. Um. These fries, eh, they're okay, but I don't know. It's just like, it's one of those things, it's like, it's like, eh, but you like keep on like grabbing for it. Um, I don't, I mean, I couldn't even finish the rice, like, I'm full, guys. And then I have like, like two tortillas left. Um, so yeah. Um. So I think I'm going to finish this video right here. Um, thanks you guys for watching this whole video with me today. Um, like I said, it's something that, um, you know, I kind of wanted to do and see like how it would go. Definitely would love your feedback. So definitely leave that, you know, comments in below and like this video too as well. Um, yeah. And so, you know, I hope you guys have a great Father's Day. Um, and happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there or any single parent that, you know, is there for your, your, your child. I know today, or yesterday, when I went to San Mateo, um, uh, I was ac actually, um, you know, kind of taking care of one of my best friend's son. And, um, you know, it, it's a great feeling, you know, it's a great feeling to kind of, you know, have kids and definitely something that I want to, um, definitely have in the future. So I know it's very rewarding to kind of, you know, take care of them and take them around the county fair and stuff like that. So it was, it was a lot of fun. Um, so yeah, but other than that, you know, I hope you guys, you know, again, like my mukbang, um, you know, next time, you know, maybe tell me something to eat and, and, you know, maybe I could do that and, and kind of show you guys like how I eat it. 
or something like that. But give me some ideas. Give me some feedback. That would be awesome. Definitely like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Bye. Thank you.